What is good, y'all? This is your boy, Fat Mike. And this series is going to be a bit different than what I normally do. But I've been getting harassed by this dipshit that I don't fuck with no more. And it's dealing with pot, but... I've never done this shit with somebody before, but it's basically for the simple fact that he wants to threaten and say that he's got the cops in his pocket, that uh, calling me a thief <laughs> and trying to say that he's going to run up into my house basically commit like saying he's going to commit a home invasion on me talking about coming in and beating on my family which that would be counted as elder abuse and to top it off he wants to call me a fat ass but yet he's the fat bastard talking about eating me out of house and home saying he'll come in and sit down on my couch and eat up all of my food in the house <laughs> And I ain't gonna do shit. So, instead of posting a bunch of text messages that's gonna be, like, all over the fucking place, I'm personally going to commentate the shit and run through every fucking message this pathetic fuck has fucking sent me. So I wished my call recorder worked properly because then I would have recorded the fucking phone calls. And funny, he's got a lot to say on text, but he don't say shit on the phone call. He'll just sit there quiet and breathing on the phone like some fucking stalker. That's how pathetic this dude is. Funny, he ain't got shit to say verbally, but he, he'll text all this shit. Talk about a keyboard tough guy. He's the fucking true definition of that. Oh, man. So this is going to be, say, the first video out of <clears throat> three to four videos. So the first video that I posted is technically the last video. I guess I'm doing some Marvel shit here. <laughs> like throwing them all over chapter fucking four is really fucking movie one. <laughs> so, yeah, first movie, well, first video is basically part four. I will go through after I post one through three. And I'll go and label, I guess, part one, two, three, and four onto it, so... You'll know which is first and shit. But, yeah, like, unless you witness it, it's hard to believe some of the shit that I've posted about. So, to help you better believe it, I'm letting you see it. And it's kind, it's quite funny. He wants to hit up one of my friends and try to fucking come between us but he literally had the audacity to be like oh mike's trying to falsify evidence to trick the cops coming from the one that says the cops are in his pocket that they work for him that they came to my house already but you wasn't there or else you'd be in jail already See, this is the kind of retarded monster that Joe Biden has created <laughs> officially, fucking officially. I mean, he claims that he's Joe Biden's son, son that he never speaks of.
I mean, I know he's got a crackhead for a son, and he's in the fucking news all the time. So if he was his son, obviously he wouldn't be living in Warwick apartments under his mommy's name, which I just contacted their landlord with some questions. And then, depending on how the questions go, because I doubt that it's legal for you to do any of the shit that he's doing because they've already kicked people out for smoking pot. So, regardless of you having your medical card, you still gotta go outside. <laughs> but he wants to start talking shit about mamas and all of this and that. Well, you know what? Fuck your mama. I don't give a fuck if I make you both homeless. And this motherfucker think he gonna take the house. <laughs> He think he going he he literally said he going to sue me take my grandfather's home how how do you take s s property of somebody else like just cuz I live here don't make it part of mine so that don't make it eligible for you to take I mean how fucking retarded but oh we can't tell Tyler baby anything cuz oh cuz I'm the carrot I forgot he's not even though he can't even fucking give you the definition of an actual Karen. He fucking misuses the term Karen. <sighs> but just watch and you'll see. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you get a fucking bunch of laughs out of this shit. It should be quite hilarious. It really should. It should be quite hilarious. But I'm just letting the shit pile up. And... I already have witnesses and shit, and this is going to be evidence for the case as well. So that's why I'm posting these videos, because come the time, it'll be easier to send lawyers links than fucking uh, multiple half an hour long videos or more. So I'll let the shit speak for itself. Please feel free to comment. I'd love to hear people's responses to the video and please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel this is way off a topic for what i normally do but i don't mind exposing some people in my own personal life especially fucktards like this i mean about 11 months ago i posted a video exposing some raunchy fucking bitch <laughs> So, this is now an ex-friend. <laughs> Not much of a friend either, but he wanted to start shit, so I'll be more than gladly to finish it. And I don't mind showing his true self to the public, because for five years, I didn't know he was like this until just one day he fucking snapped. But he was already kind of blowing up on other people, for like two days prior to that shit. So I was kind of like wanting to stay the fuck away from it anyhow. But then it went on to me. So fuck him. And I have no fucking remorse. So enjoy. All right. So what we have here is the one of the first few texts that started this shit. And I'm a run through all of this so tuesday february 14th which i believe was valentine's day and then so he was trying to get my order and shit straight at this time would you be interested in getting carts instead of flour or a mixture for 80 Call me ASAP because I need to place this order for delivery ASAP. I got 50 to spend at the de depot. And then here's the link that he sent me to Colta. Now, this is the dispensary from, uh, well, it's in Baltimore. And this is 
this ain't the same exact list because the shit refreshes, but this is the link to their site nonetheless to where you can see what they have <clears throat> each day as they go. But so this is the link that he sent me. And then, so I go to say, uh, Amnesia OG, if they have it for 30 a quarter. I was like, so if you got two of them, it would be 60 for a half. I was like, or ice cream cake for 50 something a half. And I was giving them all the names that they had on the list that day. So this is all the proof. <clears throat> That he went to the fucking dispensary. I gave him the money. He went and purchased the shit. And now he has the audacity to go and try to say that I stole it. And there ain't nothing to push fake evidence with. All of these texts are from him. I mean, shit, if I go up any fucking further, here's all of our fucking bullshit when we was actually getting along. And then this... The next day is when this all shit started. <clears throat> so let's find, um, or Lemon Royal, which sells by the quarter. Why is your phone off? And he says, I don't even know what he mean by that first one here. Legally, it was never in the waiver I signed before purchasing. There's nowhere that says I can't grow in an apartment. Uh, yeah, Maryland statute states that if you have a medical marijuana card, in order for you to grow in your home, you cannot be in any type of living situation that has you attached to other people. So therefore... If you live in a apartment or townhome, you are not allowed to grow marijuana in those places. You must have a actual house not attached to anyone. You must have property surrounding your house that separates it from any other person's living situation. And you can look this up on the Maryland law system. I don't fucking know the name of the website offhand, but it's in there. And then he goes to say, there's, uh, I was like, that is not talking about marijuana. That is talking about garden plants. Marijuana and garden plants are not the same plants. So if I'm allowed two plants, I'll grow them in my closet certain herbs i'm legally allowed to possess this weed here yeah but growing is completely different but you can't tell the karen anything i think this is kind of like off topic uh you like dude i'm done with the debating over put i can't take it debating turns into arguments and then he wants to call me a karen karen you are you're far right bro sorry and I'm like, remember, unlike you, I don't just go off of random websites. Like, this motherfucker was trying to tell me that weed legalized the day that they voted for to legalize recreational use or not. And it passed on, I believe, January 1st. And it even stated that they would not be... <clears throat> going into effect with that until June or July of 2023, which we still got a couple more months till then. But this hassle swears up and down that, oh, as, as of January 1st, you can't. No, June or July 1st, retard. But like I said, remember, unlike you, I don't just go off of random sites that have nothing to do with my current state that I live in because he was listening to a fucking news report about our state from someone that doesn't even live in our state, let alone know the fucking laws. 
I was like, no, I don't just go on the actual fucking government websites that are actually setting the laws. I'm not just trying to put in layman's terms for you to understand. No, that's where the fucking laws get made. And that's where the fucking laws are fucking told properly. I'm not going to listen through a third party to find my information. I'm going to go to, to the direct source. But you, for, but you keep forgetting that... Do you know what this is? Why you don't keep working friends because you want to be a fucking prick. And I think I said that because he wanted to say I'm far right just because I'm trying to tell him the correct fucking statute to the law. Because I'm a stoner. I'm a pothead. I'm a fucking marijuana connoisseur. I study the laws for fucking pot not only for my own state but for the whole fucking country and if i'm gonna know anything the best is gonna be the laws for my own damn state and then this is where he tries to go and get you to uh forgive him oh i love you but you turn into a super karen well karen pushes shit that is incorrect not correct you're the karen i'm the one trying to fucking put the shit through your head as it states in the fucking code books and shit i didn't fucking make the code book so how am i a karen but i guarantee you you can go and look up any of the shit that i just said and see that i stated it as it was fucking wrote down And I'm like, no, I'm a realist. Look up the goddamn definition of a fucking Karen. Yeah, you far right conspiracy theorist. I'm past that. I'm on another fad, something way cooler that never dies. Uh, okay, I thought that was a link for a minute. Recreational cannabis use and possession. In Maryland, the Maryland People's Law Library. Oh, okay. I think I was telling them where to go look up these fucking laws because that's where I was fucking pulling up the shit to tell him. But that's not how Karens explain shit. They don't go and look up statistics and facts. They just utter out whatever they assume is correct. No matter if they're wrong or not. I come correct before I fucking run my mouth on that type of shit. I'm like there because I'm just such a fucking know-it-all. Karen definition, Google search. <laughs> that's, that's you when we talk. You're my Karen wifey. And yeah, like I really think, and that's the reason why he started treating me the way he did, was he started trying to act like I was his fucking, like, girl. <coughs> Keep that thing wet, baby. I need some kitty. No, I fucking study the law. A Karen isn't a person that knows it all and isn't wrong. A Karen is a person that thinks everything is what they want it to be, not as it is that the world revolves around them. I just try to make sure you understand the correct shit so you don't get into trouble. That was me trying to look out for a dumbass so he understood shit properly. But now I could give a fuck less about this cocksucker. I know I'm just too stressed out for that type of vibe. That's why I play stoner metal loud. Uh, stoner metal? Never heard of stoner metal. And then, like, he was literally asking me to do stupid shit. So let's scroll past that. Okay. Would you be into selling me a half a gram of dabs for ten? Because I'm really low on dabs. And we can work a deal out. And you got bulk and need money. You cut me a deal on $10. Concentrate next Friday. I'll buy more. Um, I don't sell 
so I don't know what the fuck you're trying to fucking buy from me. And then, basically, told him, I don't got shit like that, so I don't know what the fuck. Like, I'm like, I'll smoke with you, but I don't sell. And then he just totally flew off of the fucking handle. I hung up on his ass. And then this is where he goes and just this this is the beginning of the fucking beginning and like i said i would be making other videos on this shit and i was going to go back to the fucking ground zero <laughs> i'm never going to do what i did yesterday for you ever again fuck you karen you're a fat selfish greedy asshole mike i could have bought oil but no i bought you flour because you don't have a card and i feel bad fuck you pussy and see here's the text right there where he has admitted to going to the dispensary for me but he wanted to blow shit way out of proportion so now it's come to this he wants to try to make me out to be a thief well i'm going to show the world for what he truly is i think i was trying to say like dude keep flipping i'm done and then he's like, I've been done. Don't hit me up no more. Coming from the person that keeps on harassing, uh, giving me death threats and all this shit. But yet he doesn't want to fucking uh, follow through with any of his fucking threats. No, he just rather fucking harass you and harass you forever and ever and ever. Still thinking that he can get that weed back. But yet, how can you get back something that's already been smoked? And how do, you, how do you plan on getting it back? Oh, I'm going to call the cops on you and tell them that you stole it from me. Yeah, well, I got all the proof in the text that dumbass fucking bought it for me. And I gave him extra money on top of the shit. So he made out on that shit. I was like, no what? you do need meds. <laughs> and this is where he starts with the threats. And you need your fat ass whooped by me, son. I'm like, go fuck yourself. And then I'm not going to repeat what he said there. But you bitch blank like Lamont. You're worse than Lamont. I'm like, nah, you is. He's like, fuck you, fat boy. I ever see you, I'm knocking you out. And then this is where he fucking admits to the crime. I committed a crime for you yesterday. And I was like, trust me, I'll make sure you go to jail. And I don't know where the fuck he's talking about. You can't help me. Where did I say anything about helping your dumbass? I didn't. Fuck you, you're going to jail because I'm calling 911. Riding by your house and saying what happened. What, drive by my house and be like, oh yeah, I just sold weed to this guy. And I went and picked it up from the dispensary. You really need to arrest him because he's really committed a crime. Not like me uh, breaking the rules of my marijuana card and the laws of my, my own damn state. Um, so... I guess he's trying to say that, oh, I'm going to drive by your house, call the cops, tell them that I picked up weed from the dispensary and you paid me for it and I gave you weed. That's not enough fucking proof to get a fucking warrant to search my house, dumbass. But it is self-criminating what you are claiming you're going to tell the cops about how, like, like, how did I get weed from the dispensary without paying you for it because i definitely didn't steal it i'm like for you threatening to assault me and then he continues and showing them these texts how you won't help me you want to collect when i'm out fuck out um because i don't have stuff to sell I'm like this is how fucking retarded he is like why did i hit you up to get weed if I had shit that I could sell. And, oh, wait, that's right. I didn't have shit that I could sell because I don't fucking sell. I bought shit from you, dummy. Not the other fucking way around. And this is where I 
suggest if you ever fucking know this asshole, don't ever buy anything from him. And the biggest one of all, don't ever sell anything to him. Because the minute he is mad at you, he'll try to throw you under the fucking bus. And this dumbass thinks that he can just say that, oh, uh, you stole it and whatever extra shit they find, they'll just give it to me because I got my card. Yeah, um, they couldn't arrest me, take shit as evidence, and then give you all the evidence. That wouldn't make any fucking sense. But I have all the evidence that I bought the shit, which this all fucking proves. I'm in my full out text message. Ain't nothing fucking been changed here. The only thing changed here is I blocked his fucking ass. And I'm like, that's not against the law, LOL. I hate you. I'm like, I see your story is I stole. I guess you didn't sell me it, huh? And I'm like, trust and believe. I got the proof, so keep on threatening to harm me. Because you didn't get what you wanted. And which was never the deal. And you want to hurt me? I will make sure you go to jail. If you come around my house. Or if you get anyone to. And that's even worse charge than doing it yourself. I'm like, you are totally delusional asshole. And God can't even save your retarded ass and i think i sent him a screenshot of the sticker and whatnot on one of the containers that had his name doctor and all the information to connect it to them but i only put it up for a brief second thinking well maybe if he sees this he'll shut the fuck up but he's so much of a Karen. Doesn't matter what shit you have on him. He thinks that it, nothing applies to him, but everything revolves around him. I was like, please keep telling people I stole from you. <clears throat> that you ain't trying to be a dealer, LMAO. I'm like, it's not other that ain't loyal. It's you. Everything gotta be your way or no way. So have fun alone. Try and make people look bad just because we didn't give you your way you're such a fucking loser and no one is gonna stick around and put up with your verbal abuse you're fucking crazy and you should be locked in a mental hospital indefinitely and i'm like boo and like i'm trying to act like i'm him here boo hoo hoo why can't I keep any friends? It can't possibly be me flipping schizo on them and trying to force them to do shit they don't want. God forbid little Tyler doesn't get his way. Look in the mirror. I won't put up with the shit. And I meant I won't put up with the shit like your mom do. And I'm like, I ain't your girlfriend. And it ain't your mom's fault she had to send your loony ass to the bin. They should have... They shouldn't uh, let your ass out. And I'm like, how are you going to get people to jump me when you ain't got no friends? I'm like, bet the cops would like to hear how you're trying to set shit up to break the law. Worse than you did. That will definitely get yourself fucked good. And not by no girls, but definitely while you're while you rot in jail. And I'm like, rock racketeering charges ain't fun. I'm like, keep dreaming. I will make sure you rot in jail. Come the fuck around me, fatty. Trust me, you're twice my weight too. LMAO. <clears throat> and this just goes to show you how stupid this motherfucker is. Why waste oil when we have electric? Joe Biden is an economic genius. I can't read the fucking shit, but yeah, I was like, basically like, uh, yeah, you're a fucking meme now, bitch. I was like, LMAO, so please start shit. Make it work. I mean, make it worse, because I got proof, pussy ass, bitch. And try not going to people's friends and, uh, and try not going to people's friends and think they're going to help your dumb ass. 
you really are a lost hope. And when I put that is when I found out that he went to my boy Leon, which I've spoke about in the other videos because he's making Leon be part of this when Leon shouldn't even be involved in this shit. But he had went to Leon's work and mind you, me and Leon are super fucking tight. We talk every fucking day, especially Monday through Friday. We fucking hang out quite often. And he's honestly my best fucking friend. Like, I have three people I'm close to, but he, I would say, would be my tightest friendship. So he went to Leon trying to get Leon to help him jump me. Like, how stupid do you have to be to go to somebody's best friend and think they're just gonna turn on their people in a snap? How fucking retarded. I was like, unlike you, me and Leon don't fight. But you always start the fight, you fucking wacko fuck. I was like, so make the first move and see where you wind up, because you ain't getting me. You're going to fuck your own life up, and I'll make sure it's indefinite. You're as stupid as Joe Biden. You're as stupid as Joe Biden is smart, LMAO. So dumb, you think he doing a good job. Know what? You should hang it up. And I'm like, too dumb for your own good. I'm done with you. You're just going to make shit worse for yourself. <clears throat> Yet again, I can't say this shit, so ain't nobody wants to be annoyed by you. Fucking loser. Can't say that either. And if anybody a Karen, it's your brain dead ass. You're going to die alone, loser. That's why he won't give you his number. Who wants to be woken in the middle of the night just because you can't sleep? Fucking chode ass. I was like, we got jobs, unlike your loser ass. And I was like, and if you backed into a vehicle, it's automatically your fault. Hope they take mommy's truck like you thought you would get their truck, LMAO. Waste of space, loser. And then here we have another text where he just randomly fucking is just trying to harass me here. Don't be mad at me because Joe Biden is the best. I'm like, you a pussy. Talk big, but no balls. Joe Biden is just as fake as you. Last time I checked, it was you who mad. You in denial. Might as well do that over getting banned from Wawa, you fucking loser. Mad because Leon doesn't want nothing to do with your retarded ass why no one wants anything to do with a fucking loser lowlife fuck like you i ain't mad i just call it as i see last time i checked you sold weed to me then tried to say i stole it you're gonna die alone you're fucked when mommy go lmao i'm gonna get you kicked off your weed card too I'm going to show the doctor all the proof you sold, LMAO. And see, this ain't out of anger. This is out of payback, you stupid, blimey fuck. And you started this shit. You're fucking loser. Do the world a favor and ain't yourself. How about you ain't Joe Biden and then ain't yourself, you fucking loser. Give the world a fucking two-for-one deal. And then another one, which these are probably not in order, but I'm just going to go through each text from top to bottom. When I see you, I'm going to smoke your, smack your phone from your hand, and I bet you won't do shit. I'm like, it will be the last thing on earth you do. I'll end you. Come over. You talk all this shit. See how that play out, because... I will post the video. I'm like, funny, you want to talk about pressing charges on people for them removing you from Wawa, but yet you think you can go put hands on whoever you fucking feel like. I can most promise you it'll be the last thing on this face of this godforsaken world you do in your pathetic fucking miserable life. But you're too much of a pussy. Just like you claim you egged my car when you didn't. You probably made that fucking bullshit up just to try to make you seem cool. 
because you're the type of person to try to fake it till you make it, which you're fake to begin with. You will never fucking make it, you fucking loser. I'm like, ant your wrist, ant your throat. That's the only valuable thing you serve into this fucking world is to ant your pathetic lowlife self. Not even your mother will miss your pathetic fucking ass. And please touch my phone because that will be an immediate felony for you. If you come over to my house, I'm going to embed, well, I meant an axe, <clears throat> which I corrected myself, <clears throat> an axe to, into you. And that's not a threat. You come on my property, you've already threatened to kill me. So please, if you show your face on my property, it will be the end of your pathetic life. I'm like, you're the one that's going to regret fucking with me, especially after you try to make me look like a thief after you sold weed illegally. And if you had, and if you had motherfuckers to make me disappear, I'm sure they'd make your fucking psychotic ass disappear. You're nothing but a little pansy ass bitch. You ain't nobody. You ain't no thug. You ain't no gangster. You ain't never been shit. And they shouldn't never let your stupid ass out the fucking hospital. You're a delusional schizophrenic and you should be locked away in a padded room for the rest of your fucking life. They should put people to sleep like they do fucking dogs. Worthless, pathetic ingrates. And I should have never tried to hang out with you again. I regret ever fucking knowing your pathetic fucking ass. And I really tried to be your friend. But know what? This is why no one is your friend, because it's impossible, especially after you finally show your true colors and think that you can be yourself around everybody, and then you fucking show that you're an asshole and that everything has to be your way or no way. That is why no one stays your fucking friend. And then I know you fucking label everybody some thief and shit, but in reality, you're the fucking thief. You, can, you think you can sell weed, call the cops, claim they stole it, get it back, and keep the money too, and just play victim? You're the worst kind of fucking people in the world. And I meant, and, well, I meant, worst type of person in the world, and the world doesn't revolve around your pathetic ass. You ain't no king. You ain't nobody. That's why you sit on... Your ass at home, do fucking nothing, and get paid by the government. You are complete, utter humanity trash. Not even white trash. You're the worst kind of person in general. You will burn in hell. Even your religion is fake. You're basically a tryhard in life. Try hard to fake it till you make it, which making it is impossible because you've been fake from the start. And this is why no one likes you. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been working on this for a few hours today. As you see now, it's night. So please drop a like, drop some comments, and please, if you have not already, hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow. But this will be about it for tonight. Keep a lookout for part two and three. Like I said, part four is technically already up. So this will be part one. So I'm your boy Fat Mike signing off. Deuces.